May I come in, sir? Please, please, teacher. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you, sir. So presently you are working as junior legal officer. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So in which department you are the junior legal officer? Uh, sir, in municipal corporation Bikanir. Bikanir. Yes, sir. So what type of work you are dealing in your office? Uh, sir, first of all, when any case is filed against the Nigam, then file comes to us and we appoint officer in charge in that case and sometimes ask the factual report from the OIC relating to that case. Then we forward it to our panel advocate. There is a panel of advocates for the municipal corporation. We appoint, we also appoint panel lawyer for that. And after that, we receive what reply has been filed by the advocate and we also monitor the litigation pendency on the lights. Hey, what type of cases are being filed against your department? Sir, the cases generally are related to the lease or the building permissions and sir, sometimes uh, relating to the Atikraman, we can say. Okay. So, under uh, municipal law, is there any provision key before filing suit against the uh, corporation? Uh, legal notice is uh, required. Sir, actually there is a provision of notice. Mm -hmm. But uh, I am I had appointed in July, and after that the main state has been declared. So I had taken the leave for its preparation. And recently I had joined again in September. So I am going through the provisions, but I am not well conversant with these posts. So you sir. are recently joined. This. Yes, sir. I had selected in this vacancy in May 2020. And prior to that, what 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 you were doing? Sir, I had completed my LLB in 2022 and since then I am preparing for judiciary exams. You are already in service, then why do you want to join this judicial service? Sir, actually, uh, from the very first inception, my dream was to be an RGS and JLO comes in between that and that is also an opportunity and my colleagues as well, sorry, my friends and my teachers suggested me that it is also a good profession. So I thought it to try to give it a try and by good grace I would finally select it. But this time before the result was declared in JLO, vacancy of RJS has been declared. So I had filled the form of Rajasthan High Court Judicial Services and I get I will get success in these two spots. Oh. What major changes uh have been done recently in India in criminal law? Yes, sir. Sir, the age old, uh, about a century old IPC and Indian Evidence Act, and sir, the CRPC has been replaced by the Bharatiya Sakshi Adhiniyam, Bharatiya Naya Sahita, and Bharatiya Nagrik Suraksha Sahita. Major changes that were brought by these laws is to give the speedy trial and the speedy justice. As well as these laws are citizen centric instead of the state state centric, and women's and children offenses are made more severe. Uh, punishment is more made more severe in those offenses. Uh, and sir, as the time grows and the everyone is using the electronic devices more rapidly, so the electronic evidences are also given the same weightage as that of the oral or documentary evidences. What type of uh, injunctions one court can grant? Civil court can grant. Yes, sir. Injunctions are permanent injunctions or the temporary injunctions may be granted by public. Yeah, but what is directory injunction or what is mandatory injunction? Hmm. Uh, sir, mandatory injunction is to do something that is like uh, if a building is erected which uh, which affects the right of light or air etc then to demolish that building is the mandatory injunction yeah. and in prohibitory injunction it is directed that not to do certain thing like that you don't erect a building or an excavation etc under which provision suit for injunction is filed uh, Sir, for temporary injunction, it is order 39, rule 1 and 2 of the CPC. 
answer for permanent injunction it is under the sra section 38 okay what do we mean by pleadings sir pleadings uh, means the plaint or written statement it plaint is the document of plaintiff and ws is the uh, document of the defendant Oh. What is section 73 of contract act? Uh, sir, section 73 of the contract act provides for the unliquidated damages in case of the breach of contract. Yes. Which is that English case, very famous case on which this section is uh, based? Sorry, sir, can you please repeat it? There is one leading case now, English case. Okay, sir. At uh, the... Sir, right now I am missing the name of that case, Lou. That is about the remoteness of damages. Yeah. Headley versus Vaxendale. Yes, sir. Headley versus Vaxendale. Sorry, I missed that. <clears throat> what is vicarious liability? Uh, Sir, vicarious liability is a relation in which another person is liable for the act of uh, his servant or his agent. The principal is liable for the acts of the agent or the master is liable for the acts of his servant. Okay. What is this pendence? Sir, this pendence means the pendency of the suit. Yes. Pendency. So what is its impact? Uh, sir, it is governed by the TPA. And it means that uh, when a suit is pending, nothing new, new can be introduced. If a suit is pending in the competent court, then no new rights regarding that property, which is the subject matter of the suit, can be uh, generated. What is the condition precedent? Pendency must be in the knowledge of the seeker of the right. Sorry, sir. I had been not about this provision. Amendment ka sa provision CPC leading my amendment. Uh, sir, Order 6 Rule 17 provides about the amendments in pleading. Uh, sir, when it is necessary to determine the real controversy in the suit, and sir, it must be raised before the settlement of issues generally, but if the circumstances are beyond the control of the parties, then maybe after the settlement. That's only after civil judge. Suit chal raha hai, bahas sun li, argument include ho gaya. Judgment ke liye rakhti file. To kya judgment hearing se, sunane se pehle, pleading mein amendment kya ja sakta? Uh, sir, yes sir, it may be made because the word is used at any stage of the proceedings which may extend up to the execution proceedings. But the proviso is added by 1999 amendment which restricts it to the extent that generally after the settlement of issues, pleading should not be allowed, but in exceptional circumstances, it can. The amendment in grounds pe allow karo ga, aapke paas lag gai, ye amendment karne, prayer mein, pleading mein, to ke sadhar pe allow karo ga. Sir, first of all, if amendments are necessary for the determination of the real controversy, if it doesn't introduce the new suit in new suit, or if it is not prejudicial to the other party, these may be some grounds for allowing the amendment in the pleadings. Section 11, what ingredient is in CPC? In CPC. Sir, section 11 provides about the res judicata, which means the matter already adjudged. Uh, there must be a suit which is already adjudged by the competent court and uh, matter in controversy must be substantially and directly the same and also the parties must be same in the subsequent suit. Or, then the judicator is applicable. Uh, CPC में से कौन से provision है जिसमें दोबारा अपन suit file नहीं कर सकते यदि पहले कोई suit decide हो चुका है merit पे then subsequent suit अपन file नहीं कर सकते बर्जित है दूसरा दावा uh, Sir, one is provision 
if I'm not wrong, it is section 12, where plaintiff is barred to bar file a second suit. And sir, in order 9, there are also some suits which cannot be again instituted like order 9, rule 9. And order to rule 2 is also uh, the type of that if we relinquished any part of the claim or if we omit to sue in respect of that, then we again cannot file it. And sir, order 11, rule 21 and order 22, rule 9. These are some provisions where the second suit is barred. Examination kitte prakar ki hoti hai, evidence sir. Sir, examination is of three types. One is uh, examination in chief, then cross examination, and then re examination. Re examination kya hoti hai? Uh, sir, re examination is generally made to elucidate the matters which come into the cross examination, and it is made by the calling party. It is done by the calling party. Theft में और loot में क्या major difference है मूल? Sir in theft, uh, sir in every in every sorry sir, I can I take a second? Every loot there is theft. Yes sir. Theft and loot. Yes. Sir. In every loot there is theft. Theft or extortion, sir in theft the victim doesn't know about the theft but in loot there is a fear of death injury or hurt and loot is more serious crime whereas theft is not so serious that is a lot of the end theft or loot ko. sir theft me jo matlab jisadhan to is mein hote hain jo hi us mein hote hain ek cheez differ karti hai wo kya karti hai sir theft me jo vyakti hota hai na jo matlab पीड़ित है उसको शायद पता नहीं हो कि उसके साथ में थेफ्ट हो रहा है नॉलेज होना जरूरी नहीं है जबकि लूट में जो होता है ना वो डेथ या फिर हर्ट या फिर रोंगफुल रेसिडेंट का फियर होता है और मतलब उसे पता होता है वो खुद मतलब अपने हाथ से प्रॉपर्टी देता है सम बट इट मे बी समटाइम्स इन एक्सटोर्शन केसेस बट फियर इज नेसेसरी इन दैट यदि कोई पिता पुत्र को गिफ्ट कर दे क्या इसको कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कहेंगे नो सर इट इज नॉट अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सर एक्चुअली दिस इज कॉन्ट्रैक्ट के लिए कॉन्ट्रैक्ट के लिए क्या है एसेंशियल है कॉन्ट्रैक्ट के लिए सर फॉर एवरी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट देयर मस्ट बी एन एग्रीमेंट बिटवीन द पार्टीज हु आर मेजर कॉम्पिटेंट टू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट विद प्री कंसीडरेशन की कंसेंट एंड फॉर लॉफुल कंसीडरेशन एंड लॉफुल ऑब्जेक्ट and not hereby expressly declared to be void. So, पिता ने पुत्र को कोई property gift कर दी या और कर दिया क्या वो contract क्या लाया? Yes sir, it is a valid contract. Contract without consideration but it is valid contract. कौन सा section है contract है? Sir, section 25 provides about this. Radhika, मैं आपको एक प्रॉब्लम देता हूं आपका व्हाट्सएप पर कन्वर्सेशन हो रहा है व्हाट्सएप चैट हो रही है आपकी और व्हाट्सएप चैट होते होते फिर आपने किसी को कुछ पैसे उधार दे रखे हैं और चैट में आप मांग रहे हैं उससे पैसे तो मेरे जो पैसे हैं इतने पैसे हैं दे दो अच्छा उसमें उसने एडमिट भी किया है दे दो आपने उसी चैट को एविडेंस बनाकर एक सूट फाइल किया तो कोर्ट कैसे मानेगी कि चैट आपने चैट के चैट को निकलवा दिया अपने मोबाइल से तो कोर्ट कैसे मानेगी कि आपकी जो चैट है वो सही है सर आई एम नॉट प्रिटी श्योर अबाउट इट बट एज फार एज माई नॉलेज इट मे बी प्रूव आई एम आस्किंग द लाइट ऑफ Evidence. You are to yes, give answer according to the evidence. It act. may be proved as per section 65B of the Evidence Act. So, which type of uh, affidavit you will you will you will have to file before the court? Uh, sir, a certificate to the effect that uh, that the mobile is working properly on that time. And sir, section 65B, sub clause four. Yes, sir. Is there? So, 65B ka clause 4 me de rakha hai affidavit ke de na hota hai. Sir, 
सर एक्चुअली आई मिस दैट प्रोविजन दैट इज सो लॉन्ग एंड आई ओपन मिस दैट प्रोविजन इन एविडेंस एक सो आवर डेज इट इज मोस्ट ऑफ इंपोर्टेंट प्रोविजन यस सर मतलब मैं उसको बार-बार ज्वाइन करती हूं लेकिन वो स्किप हो जाता है अच्छा एक और एग्जांपल uh, है मेरे पास आईपीसी का एक लड़की है जो प्रेग्नेंट नहीं है लेकिन उसके फ्रेंड को लगता है कि शायद ये प्रेग्नेंट है तो वो आके उसको आ, कोई मिसकैरेज की गोली दे देता है मिसकैरेज तो नहीं होता तो क्या उस लड़के ने कोई अपराध किया है सर ही इज लाइबल फॉर अटेम्प्ट टू मिसकैरेज एंड देयर इज अ फाइंडिंग आल्सो ऑन दिस प्रोविजन बट राइट नाउ आई एम नॉट रिकॉलिंग द नेम ऑफ द केस अटेम्प्ट में आएगा सर एक एग्जांपल इसी इसी को ठीक है आपने एक एग्जांपल इसी में मैं साथ जोड़ देता हूँ एक आदमी है उसके पीछे कुछ गुंडे लगे हुए हैं उसे मानना चाहते हैं वो आगे जाके एटीएम पे अपनी गाड़ी रोकता है उसे पता नहीं कि मेरे पीछे गुंडे लगे हुए वो ए में चला जाता है ए में से कुछ अपना पैसा वैसा निकाल रहा है कार उसकी बाहर खड़ी है गुंडे आके कार पर गोलियां चलाते हैं और चले जाते हैं। इज इट अटेम्प्ट टू मर्डर नो सर दिस इज तो फिर वो कैसे हुआ सर आई एम नॉट प्रीटी श्योर बट सर आई हैड रेड अ फाइंडिंग टू दैट इफेक्ट दैट इफ ही डजंट नो देन आल्सो देयर इज अ मिसकैरेज एज अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट फाइंडिंग आई हैड गिवन माय आंसर मे बी इट इज रॉन्ग आई एम सॉरी फॉर दैट ये ये अटेम्प्ट वाले पॉसिबल अटेम्प्ट इंपॉसिबल अटेम्प्ट ये पढ़े हैं क्या आपने Sir, एक बार पढ़िएगा इनको जी सर अच्छा एक और एग्जांपल मैं सिर्फ आईपीसी का पूछ रहा हूँ आपसे समवन इज इन बांग्लादेश और वहां से उसने एक गोली चलाई और इंडिया में जो व्यक्ति खड़ा है उसके गोली लगती है कैन ही ट्राइड इन इंडिया Yes, sir. He may be tried in India as per the provision of Section Four of the IPC. Section Four or Section uh, any other section? Uh, sir, Section Number Four. Four. Because the offence is committed within India, so he may be tried in India. So, for this, Section Four is not there. Yes, sir. Section Three. सर एज फार एज आई कैन रिकॉल द थ्री कंडीशन आर प्रोवाइडेड अंडर सेक्शन नंबर फोर दफेंस इज कमिटेड विद इन इंडिया और द पर्सन इज अटीजन ऑफ इंडिया और दफेंस इज कमिटेड ऑन एनी एयरक्राफ्ट और शिप रजिस्टर्ड इन इंडिया मे बी आई एम रोंग सेक्शन थ्री सेक्शन थ्री ओके पुराने वाले आईपीसी लोग पुरानी आईपीसी ही है अच्छा ये एक चीज और राधिका मुझे बताओ कि आजकल आप देखते हो ना दुनिया भर के बाबा आ गए हैं पर्चिया निकाल रहे हैं हाँ जी सर और लोग भीड़ भाड़ भी जा रही है उनके यहाँ आर दे डूइंग एनी ऑफेंस सर आई थिंक दिस इज अ मैटर ऑफ द रिलीजियस फ्रीडम व्हिच इज प्रोवाइडेड अंडर आर्टिकल 25 ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन रिलीजियस फ्रीडम हमारा कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन तो ये कहता है कि आदमी को साइंटिफिक टेंपरामेंट का होना चाहिए पाखंडी थोड़ी होना चाहिए पाखंडी में और आर्टिकल इसी आर्टिकल में दे रखा है कि साइंटिफिक टेंपरामेंट का होना चाहिए सर दैट इज द फंडामेंटल ड्यूटी अंडर आर्टिकल 51 ए हां तो ये साइंटिफिक टेम्परामेंट है क्या जो लोग आजकल टीवी पे हम देख रहे हैं बहुत सारा है सर चल तो बहुत है हाँ तो ये साइंटिफिक टेम्परामेंट के अगेंस्ट नहीं है सर इट इज समाइम्स अगेंस्ट एंड सर समाइम्स इट इज आल्सो इन फेवर बिकॉज समाइम्स दिस कैन आल्सो बी ट्रू आई हैड मतलब पर्सनली रियलाइज दैट दीज थिंग समाइम्स आर ट्रू आप विश्वास करते हैं Sir, actually, I hadn't believed in all these things, but uh, as my upbringing provides me and my parents are, sir, they are inclined towards these things. Not against the pathan, but if there is something truth in that thing, then they move there. 
सुहानी साहब और ये तो उन्होंने बता दिए तो ट्रिक है खैर एक लास्ट क्वेश्चन ये क्रिमिनल इंटिमिडेशन में और एक्सट्रॉसन में क्या डिफरेंस है सर आई थिंक एक्सट्रोशन इज ओन ओनली डन फॉर द प्रॉपर्टी बट इन क्रिमिनल इंटिमिडेशन देर में बी फियर ऑफ डिफेमेशन आल्सो जैसे कोई एग्जांपल बताएं ना सर फॉर एग्जांपल इन एक्सट्रोशन द अक्यूज्ड ओनली फोर्सेस द पर्सन टू गिव हैंड ओवर एनी प्रॉपर्टी और प्रॉपर्टी और थिंग और ने may compel him to sign a valuable security etc which can be converted into the property nahi isme apprehension hota hai ke immediate instant haath pair tod dunga main aapke ghar se mat nikalna to ye kya aparadh hai sir this is criminal intimidation Haan. this is criminal intimidation abhi aapke haath pair tod dunga jo bhi hai nikalo this is robbery Yes, sir. This मुझे पचास हजार रूपए दे देना नहीं तो ऐसा कर दूंगा is such such and such is under digital arrest yes. and cheated sorry sir hmm it is cyber cyber oh. offence related oh, one okay. ig or one uh, retired or never also <laughs> these are all criminal intimidation yes. okay sir. thank you for enhancing my knowledge what is the evidentiary value of this electronic evidence sir electronic evidence is also equivalent to the oral or documentary evidence nowadays if it is reliable then theek hai sir acha hai 